All right, hello and welcome guys. Efrosina here with World Ventures the last nine and a half years. Excited to be hosting this webinar with you guys. And firstly, before we get started, I also want to thank Monique and Kylie for setting this up. Thank you for the awesome teamwork, ladies. And more importantly, I'm excited to bring a very, very special guest up with me in a minute. Now, just before we get started, guys, please, if you got yourself a mobile phone, my recommendation is put this on silent, okay? Put on an airplane mode, put it in a way that you're gonna be completely no distractions and just be 100% engaged because for the next 30 minutes or so, we get the pleasure to have an amazing, amazing leader. I actually had the pleasure of meeting this guy Wow, in 2012, if I remember correctly, was the first time that I met him when I went over to Singapore and I was sitting down with a very close friend and I remember meeting him and his beautiful wife and at the beginning, they were just literally getting started at that point. Him and a couple of other guys were pretty much the founding members of all of Asia. Everything that's happening in Asia this guy is one of the main guys that helped to kickstart Asia. And you know how big that is. So, but I remember he was literally just getting started at the time. He still had his dental practice, working a lot of hours, but he wanted freedom in order to spend time with his beautiful family. And he was, you know, just kickstarting things, but there was an intensity in his eyes. I remember when he was talking to this friend of mine, we were sitting there having a, breakfast at, uh, I think it was Marina Bay Sands, if I remember correctly. There was just this intensity and focus in his eyes. And you could tell that this guy was going to go on to do big, big things. So it's no coincidence that he went on to become a million dollar ring earner. He's an IMD. He's a night trainer. He's one of the top income earners in all of Asia. And he's none other than Dr. Wu. Welcome to our webinar, Dr. Wu. Thank you for taking the time to join Hi. us. Uh, you guys. Okay, uh, can you guys hear me loud and clear? Because uh, I foresee you are cutting in a little bit. We hear you. Where my end or your end. You guys can hear me? If you guys can hear me, uh, can you just put, a, put your hand up or something that I can at least know that everything's okay? Okay, perfect. Great. Uh, yes, thank you, Efrosini. Well, first of all, I uh, really appreciate being on this call. Uh, thank you to Moe Langham for, uh, for asking me and for Kylie for also making arrangements uh, for mine, I believe. Uh, I didn't even, Efrosini, I didn't even know that you were going to be the, um, the uh, superstar host. So <laughs> it's very nice to be hosted by the one and only Efrosini Adamides. I remember when I got started, um, Efrosini was already established as one of the top years in uh in World ventures right Efrosine, you still there okay yes i believe she's still there still um, here, well, <laughs> yes <laughs> so as you can see um well i don't know if you, whether you guys know uh, um right now it's chinese new year so today's like the sixth day of chinese new year it goes on for 15 days and especially during the weekends we spend a lot of time visiting relatives in fact i just got home and i was rushing around a bit so if i still look a bit flustered that kind of explains why uh, um, but if you are connected with me on Facebook, you see that we've been uh, catching, a lot, uh, catching up a lot with the team. So we had a lot of lunches and dinners. I wow. definitely put on a few kilos while uh, just along the past few days alone because that's what we do, right? We eat and we meet up with family, meet up with friends. So uh, it's fantastic. So I think the, the main reason on this call is also to promote the momentum that's coming up in Melbourne. So not my first time in Melbourne, been, been to do the RTE there before. I've also, I've actually got uh, friends, um, not distant relatives um so i'm very excited of being back i certainly thought about moving to melbourne for a while you know just for fun because australia is just one of the nicest places in the world to live right that's what i hear um so very, very glad to be coming back in fact just before melbourne i think three weeks before melbourne i'm also the trainer for the uh, momentum event in kuala lumpur malaysia that's for the asian um the asian teams 
Uh, we've sold out about 5,000 tickets for KL. I think we're, I, I don't know what the exact numbers in Melbourne are right now, uh, but really hope to get them up. Uh, in KL, I'll be with Mark Seller, of course, with um, uh, Julio Costa. And now the, the first, I can't say the only quadruple IMB, I can say the, the first quadruple IMB because if you guys don't know, I mean, literally within the last couple of hours, we just announced the second ever quadruple IMB in World Ventures history. I'm not the one, unfortunately, uh, Sashin Govindo. So I just want to say, uh, uh, give big, a big shout out to Sashin. Hey, congratulations, man. Four times over. I mean, you basically blew past everyone. And I think that's the, um, that's the thing about this business. It doesn't really matter when you get started. I think Sashin maybe started same time as me or maybe one year after me or I don't know when it did, but whatever the case, this may be the wonderful thing about this business is that regardless of when you get started you have the potential to literally out earn out rank uh, literally everyone within the company so if you're hearing this and you're, you've seen this for the very first time you're wondering oh doctor you got started uh, i got started eight years ago you got started eight years ago that's why you became a million dollar ring earner if you don't what that means it means i um i made within a single 12 month period over a million us dollars in uh, commissions okay so that's fantastic. Um, IMD is a rank that's separate from income, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, uh, you could be a, you could be a NMD and still be a million dollar ring earner. You could RMD, but you could potentially make more money than IMD. So at the end of the day, the ranks is just to tell you what we have done, what we have achieved. But it shouldn't be a, shall we say, it shouldn't be a limit, an upper limit of what you can achieve. Anyone here on this call can out earn myself, out rank. Even Sashin, if you wanted to put in the word in right now, okay. So I mean, we all love Sashin, but understand that he's there as the as the um, um right now he's the fastest guy. The thing is this: anyone here on this call has the potential to do it. Um, not only that, but even if you're not the one, you would certainly want someone that you bring in to be the one, isn't it? So when I got started eight years ago, it's my goal at that point in time was just to make enough money to get out of my dental practice. Why? Because for eight years prior to that, I was really, uh, I was working as a dental surgeon. Uh, and what dentists do for a living, we basically breathe in bad breath for a living, right? That's what we do. We sit over a patient's mouth, we kind of, we kind of, we kind of just, our necks are craned down, our backs are bent. We're on position all the time, looking at a patient's mouth, doing a root canal, doing wisdom tooth surgery. So some people, some patients have, have breath so bad. Right? And you know what happens when, things decompose within the mouth, you, 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 it's like you're breathing out methane gas. So I always make the joke. You put a lighter in front of someone with a really bad breath, they breathe out, it's like dragon breath. We're well, not that way. Um, that's a joke, of course. Um, and after a while, I decided I needed a lot of fresh air. And uh, a lot of fresh air I got, indeed, uh, through my many holidays all over the world. By the way, if you can hear a, a child, that's because my boy is just right there. It's just right there, okay? That's one of my helpers. Uh, that's my, actually, that's my wife. <laughs> okay, so, say hi. Well, I think he's yelling. Watching TV, it's a, it's a son. He just got home. By the way, this is one of the wonderful things about this business. I'm at home right now. Uh, this could be very well be late in the evening for me. I know it's like uh, 4.40 or 6.40 in the evening. In the evening. Working. Right, I'm on work, I'm doing a call with you guys, but I'm doing it from home. I could just as well be doing this in my pajamas. The night before, literally about uh, 12 hours ago, I was in my pajamas on a Saturday evening uh, doing, a, doing a video conference call with my team and in some of the other countries. I think about six of them, and we're doing a quick training. And the wonderful thing about this business is we can do this from our homes in our pajamas and we can spread it, we can build a team and build a business industry worldwide. And what do we put in to get involved again? Right now, it's only $168 or $149, depending where you're logging in from in the world, just to get started in the business. And your business cost is only uh, $128. And once you refer four, you don't, you don't pay your membership fees anymore, okay? So um, that, that's the wonderful thing about this business. Now, why, why is it so important to come to the uh, Momentum event in Melbourne? Well, quite simply, I, I 
saw the ad for this, the, the poster for this conference call, and that is Learn Million Dollar Secrets. Well, I can't exactly get them all up right now. I don't you guys don't come to the event on, in Melbourne, right? So I, I just want to give you a quick snippet and, and, and give you some simple reasons. And for right now, a lot of you are new and you've, gotten, you've probably gotten started within the last uh, few months. And to give you guys some credit, some of you have also, oh, Europeans as well, I understand we've got Europeans, uh, uh, people from Africa, uh, um, uh, the US. Why is it so important to go to events? Well, it's quite simple, really. Um, you want to go and listen to the people who have the lifestyle that you desire. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm not saying that, your life, that, that you guys don't have the life you desire. You just, want it, you just want it better. You want more time, more money, more of whatever it is that you define. And I will tell you that uh, besides the money, which has been very, very nice in the last few uh, years, besides the money, I do what I want to do. I, I decide my own time. Uh, there's still some work involved, like doing conference calls like this and actually showing people the presentation. But there's actually some work involved. Hang on, let me lower the volume. Okay, I'm kind of in the living room. This is where the Wi-Fi connection is the strongest. Once I close my door, it's soundproof and <laughs> the Wi-Fi connection also cuts off. Okay? So, the, 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 the importance of being at our events is manifold. Number one, you listen to the trainer direct. Now, you may be saying, hey, I can listen to the recording of Dr. Wu, but hang on. That's like, saying, um, that's like watching a Bon Jovi concert on a CD on the radio versus watching Bon Jovi live. Huge difference. Night and day. That's like saying, oh, The secrets of becoming a billionaire on YouTube versus meeting Richard Branson at a conference live. Huge difference. You get a lot more information when you attend live. So you have to be present. And, and I would definitely be able to share a lot more information and maybe even share some pictures and some videos with you guys of my experiences over the last eight years. So that's the importance of the, of the training. And this was something I was told when I first started was if I attended the training and I didn't get value out of it, um, the person who got me there would pay me the cost of it, would pay me the cost of the ticket. All right? In fact, the trainer at the time was Matt Morris. If you don't know Matt Morris as well, I'll talk to him about this. So he kind of said, if I don't give you the value at the event, I'll return you the cost of the ticket. I said, cool, you made that promise. I got it on tape. Uh, I'll hold you to it. And guess what? In the last eight years, I've attended so many events. I've never ever needed to claim the value back. In fact, I made that same promise to many of my team members. No one has, a, has, ever, has ever asked for their money back. No one has ever asked for their money back because there's so much value. And I, I don't even know what the cost of the ticket now is these days because it, to me, it's, it's a no-brainer. That money is so worth it compared to what you would pay for a uh, what other conferences that like T. Huff Ecker, Anthony Robbins? I mean, those guys are great, fantastic, okay? Uh, and it, it won't just be me. I mean, you'll get Mark Setter. Mark Setter alone, if you don't already know, he was voted as one of the literally number one and top MLM trainer in the world. And I, I'm very glad to call him uh, a, a friend and a personal mentor. And uh, he's really been a huge influence in my life ever since I first met him face to face in November 2011. Well, I'll never forget these dates, okay? Um, so it's just been fantastic. And along the way, you don't just meet, listen to the trainers, you also meet the other top leaders within the company. So um, I know Afrosini, are you going to be there? I know Lou Hattie is going to be there for sure, right? And uh, if you guys don't already know Lou, she's just a, a, a rock star, fireball of, of, of uh, energy. Um, I don't know how flying in. So you get to meet all these leaders. Um, and sometimes you may be saying, oh my goodness, the IMD, that seems so far away. Well, then you meet other uh, NMDs, RMDs, marketing directors, or you meet other um, um, uh, directors. So you may be thinking, hey, I'm just too far away, but hang on, let me meet a senior rep, let me meet some other directors, let me meet the marketing directors. Now, these are the the, 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 the stepping stones to get to. When I first started, I didn't, I didn't aim straight for IMD. I just went, hey, can I make like $2,000 a month? Can I make like $5,000 a month? Can I make like 
uh, $10,000 a month. $2,000 is the average income of the average director. $5,000 is the average marketing director. So that was my immediate goal. So set those immediate goals and go there and meet other leaders of other ranks at the event, talk to them and get experiences because you never know where the inspiration is going to come from. Okay. Oh, by the way, um, I'm just kind of yakking on. So if referencing, if I'm talking too much, just cut me off. Um, I, will, I will never forget one event that I attended and uh, I was, um, I was plateaued a marketing director for like a number of years. So I joined in 2010, September. I got the marketing director. It took me a while. I think end of 2011. So I kind of plateaued a marketing director from end of 2011 all the way through to August 2014. Now, along the way, I attended all the events, of course, but in August 2014, I attended an event as a marketing director. Oh, mind you, at that time, in August 2014, I had other people in my lineage, in my team, who had, who had outranked me. They were in my lineage, in my team, and they were super seeing me, and they were outranking me. Okay, somebody got to IMD before me, I think three of them. And I was very happy for them, proud of them, of course, but they were sitting in front of sitting behind. And I was happy, but I was like, darn, why, why am I stuck? And and at that boot camp event, I remember Lorenzo Roybar was a trainer. Mark was a trainer. There was also another trainer there. At the event, I, I heard some great lessons, but it wasn't the training that so much got me. It was the testimonial that got me. So uh, one guy went on stage and he, was a, he, uh, he, 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 just, he just made a million dollars the year before. So August 2014, one year before this, August 2013, he made a million dollars. And I'm like, hang on. He made a million dollars? a year I'm like whoa that that seriously pissed me off in a good way I wasn't angry at him I was angry at myself but that seriously pissed me off and I kind of after the event I kind of went back to work with a vengeance now so from August 2014 to October 2015 I made a million dollars US now at that point in time, in August 2014, I was already doing the work prior to that. I, even though I was pissed off, I, I, was, I kept doing the work and it was coming up, you know, but really slowly. But at the event, I just went, Argh! and from August 2014 to, to, to October 2015, um, no, August 2014, September, October 2014 to year, and the United that year well, in 2016 was in January. So just two months after that, I got recognized at United for my million dollar ring. It's in my warehouse somewhere. I don't have it with me right now. Um, but that was what happened. And you never and the point I'm trying to make is you never know what the trigger will be. I've got another guy in my team, and uh, he was a he was a banker. He was doing good income. But he was stressed out being a banker, and he's senior rep. And I told him, you got to come to the event. He's like, oh, I'm sitting in the back. I've heard all this before. And then at the event, at one of the events, he had a guy go on stage who didn't, who didn't speak good English. And he went, what? That guy can get the, the director. I'm only senior rep, but that guy can get the director. It pissed him off. He went to work. And within the next year, he made a hundred grand, hundred thousand dollars. He got the hundred K ring within the year. So... Sometimes it's not just the training. Sometimes, I mean, I like to think I'm a great trainer, but I'm not the main goal. The, main, the whole event is so powerful. You never know where the trigger is going to come. It's going to come from a testimonial. It's going to come from when the event, what is the trigger that's going to, going to take you off in a good way to get you moving. And if it doesn't take you off, guess what? It might take some of your people off. And if it Someone on your left team and someone on your right team, boom town Charlie for you. Okay, so well, cut. I cut. I'm going for twenty minutes. I can't talk. Say everything. Like I said, I wish you guys don't come. So, after seeing it, I'm gonna <laughs> back to you. If you've got any questions for me, or maybe you guys could. Yes. Get so, firstly, thank you. I just wanted to let you rock with that, Doctor Wu, because you're so awesome and you're so on fire. And what I'd love to share, um, if you could share with us. Building for an event, you know, right now on this call, we have people from Australia, New Zealand, Europe. 
We've got some Europeans that are building for a sold out Barcelona momentum. Africa's almost sold out. Asia's already sold out. Australia still got a few spaces left. So if you were building for this event right now, forget that you got the million dollars, forget that you're an IMD, but let's say you're brand new, maybe you're a senior rep, maybe you're not even a senior rep. What would the next 30 to 45 days look like building for an event for you? I'm sorry, sorry, I was just muted myself. Okay, well, first of all, if you haven't got a ticket, go get your ticket. That's quite, quite free. Uh, that should be pretty, uh, pretty, pretty obvious. But, and you know what? Take the ticket, the, the, the ticket that you kind of registered and kind of put it online. Put it out there to your team members uh, and say, hey, I'm going. This is kind of like telling your team members to hold you accountable. I'm going, better show up. Because there's some people that buy the tickets, you know what, but they don't show up. So that's, buying the tickets one thing, showing up is quite another, all right? So put it out there to your team members. Hey, I'll be there. See you there, all right? Yeah, exactly. Post on uh, WP Australia team, Facebook groups, WhatsApp groups, Viber groups, or what have, whatever groups you guys have, all right? And then amongst your teams, you kind of get together with the serious people. I mean, there are going to be a lot of people who are not serious, but get Get with these huge people says, hey, I commit to, from now on to the event, maybe putting in two personals, three personals, four personals, and not only that, converting them to get to the event. Now, and this is just me, I don't, I'm not sure what you guys want to do it. I almost always commit to my, to my team members, hey, if you go for the event and you find it's not worth the money, I'm going to refund you from my own pocket the cost of the ticket. So that's the guarantee I give to my team members. You don't have to it's your call um, but it's something I do and it just kind of reflects my conviction for the event okay so that's something you know I learned that from Matt I did it myself and it's worked tremendously um, what you also could do is kind of put in do some promotions within your team and you don't have to do promotions for everyone you can do the promotions you can do the promotion for a certain lineage that will get you to rank up or to to uh, make you more money or, or whatever so you could say I, I've got a team member that he likes to say hey if you put in a certain number of people from now till then I'm gonna buy you a free iPhone or a free Samsung phone I'm gonna buy you the iPad that you need to build your business I'm gonna buy you that 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 you know something uh, um, I remember I was told one one person on my team his trigger was a bottle of whiskey so the, the team promotion was do this whatever the job was from now to the event and I give this bottle of whiskey. It could be a Dom Premier, it could be a Johnny Walker, or Jack Daniels. And there was one guy on the team that says, I want that bottle of whiskey, and he went to work. So everyone has a different trigger, okay? Everyone has a different trigger. You never know what the trigger might be. So along the way, do self-promotions within the team to, to you, you, you don't know what the trigger might be. You could say a team dinner, uh, it could be a, uh, I don't know, expensive candlelight meal with whoever. Um, one of the team promotions that we're having for KL is um, if you bring a certain number of people from your team, you get to have, have, have we're kind of auctioning off Buffy and Millie. You get a dinner with Buffy and Millie together. <laughs> so it's kind of, I, I can't remember the promotion, but I heard that being mentioned on one of my, one of my WhatsApp groups. So that's one of the team promotions you can have within your team. Okay? That's if you've got a small team. Now, if you're a newbie, well, really, it's about being very clear on what you want. If you're a newbie and this is your first event, you, it, it may be all right for you guys to say, oh, uh, let me go check it out and see what it's like. Well, you know what? From now to then, bring a few more people. The guy that brought me to my first, first United event back in April 2011, he actually made a commitment to the upline. He's going to bring a lot of people, but he brought two, me and... Uh, and the guy called Dennis Bay. If you don't already know, Dennis Bay is also a million dollar ring earner. And uh, we went there and from me and Dennis Bay, today I'm among the top income earners in the world for the, for the company. Okay, and now we're building, we're aggressively uh, building the Asia Pacific up again. So, and there are many different things you can do. You can take, don't, don't think about the big steps. Take small steps at a time, okay? Think big, but don't forget to also think small. Take small steps at a time and 
grow to that level. I never, when I got started, I didn't think I'd make a million dollars. I said, I wanted 2,000, 5,000, 10,000 a month. But only when I got to that level, then I started to wonder what's more, what's next. My goal was not to get IMD, double IMD, triple IMD. No, my goal was, uh, was a monetary goal. I know it sounds a bit shallow, but it's a monetary goal. How to get to 1 million? Now I'm thinking how to get to 2 million a year, then 4 million a year, then 8 million a year. Now, as far as I know, no one in World Ventures has done it yet. But, you know, it's just a way to keep score. It's not about the money. It's just a way to keep score. So find it within yourself or your teams, if you're yourself, if you're a uh, uh, new rep, find it within yourself. What do you want to do to keep score? Okay, I remember I heard Donald Trump once said, once said in a speech, the money is great, but money is just a way to keep score of how well you're doing with the goals that you set. Make sense? So um, I hope that I see uh, a lot of you at Momentum. Um, if I see if I've met you before, I know I see some people saying, yes, I'm here before. So looking forward to see you guys again. And if I've never met you, if there's a chance along the way, I'm, I think there'll be some photo different sessions. Come up, say hi, take a selfie, post it online, tag me. And uh, you, know, you, ne you never know after a while. Like I know, F I'm very comfortable talking FOC. We don't get to see each other often, but because of our team culture, when I talk to a fellow leader within World Ventures, I know there's a certain connection. We will connect straight away because we're all brought up in the same World Ventures family. So we're all brought up the same way. So you never know that uh, amongst here, there'll be friendships that develop between myself and even you that may last for quite a long time. So... Absolutely. Thank you, Dr. Wu. Thank you very much for your time. And if you could just sum just one last question before we let you go. If you could mm -hmm. sum up maybe the biggest gift that you have received from World Ventures, you know, whether it's something that happened in your team, whether it's a personal growth uh, for you, what would you say has been the biggest gift for you in the last eight and a half years with World Ventures? Okay, so this is easy. Um, interesting enough, I think Wayne, because I met up with Wayne uh, back in December in a Plano. I, I kind of went to Plano just to catch up with Wayne and Dan Stamen. Um, and the most wonderful thing was the ability to walk away. I, I know it sounds funny. So let, let, me, let me put it in context. So uh, I wouldn't say I've made a lot of money. I will say I've made a very respectable seven figures and the first number isn't a one it's seven and two i made a respectable seven figures over the last few years um and i didn't spend that money i kind of i practically i live very frugally in fact i'll share with you when i get to when i get to melbourne how frugally i live uh, i've got a very frugal family and wife just the way i was brought up and I reinvested all my money. I did proper research and due diligence into different vehicles. I still make residuals from World Ventures. And the thing is this, I, I can walk away from World Ventures if I, if I choose to, if I want to. I think the wonderful thing, the most wonderful thing is I have the choice to pretty much do whatever I want now because I was frugal, because of the, the, the residuals and the weekly cycles and all ventures I had the choice to walk away and the wonderful thing and during that time I was doing something that I like to do okay number one I like to talk I like to talk about holidays the idea that I could make money by talking is just fantastic um, I, don't, I mean I don't get paid by being a, I mean, there's a there's a I think a small stipend they pay for a plane ticket hotel but I don't get paid to be a trainer at Momentum it, but it's just something I enjoy doing I share my experience I share my story and along the way People benefit from it. That's a huge thing. But the, the biggest joy was having the choice to, having the, the, the ability to choose whatever it is I want to do. I could have chosen to walk away, but I didn't. In fact, I still like doing it. That's why I keep doing it. My next immediate goal, I mean, you know, it's got nothing to do with benches. My next goal is when am I going to finally get down and get, get on a motorcycle and ride around the world? That's my next goal. I don't know when I'm actually going to do it, but I'm kind of. Uh, I think for right now, I'm watching the videos on YouTube. I'm contacted people who've done it before. They ride a motorcycle around the world. I mean, it's kind of crazy. Um, but that's something I plan to do.
and that the freedom of choice is literally the most wonderful gift I've been given in the last eight and a half years. So um, I think that's a huge thing that a lot of you might want, the freedom of choice. Absolutely. Yes, uh, you were about to say something else to see. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you very much for that, Dr. Wu. And guys, this is the time. There's still a few tickets left for Momentum. I'll tell you what, the one thing that I always love seeing at the big events, I love seeing the old faces when you come back to the fire and you get re-engaged. I love that because it's like seeing your distant cousins from around the world. But what I love the most is I love the new people. The new people, when you get them to that event, or when you look into the rice and you go, you realize that they, what it was like at your first event, when you realize this is real, that this freedom that most people think about celebrities, it's only for celebrities. Now all of a sudden you see people, everyday people that used to be, have a dental practice from all types of backgrounds, walking the stage, sharing their story, and when people see that, when they see that it's within their grasp, that's when we get to the point of change in life. And for me, promoting, guys, it's about helping people to get empowered to change their own life. So if I were you coming off for this call right now, I would literally pick up the phone. I would speak to everybody in your team. That's number one. But the second thing that I would be doing, which is exactly what I'm doing right now, is I would be inviting, presenting, closing people for training and get as many new people in front of the trainers, in front of Dr. Wu, in front of Marcusetta, in front of Barcelona, any event you can get people in front of, because I'm telling you, the lifestyle that Dr. Wu is, has created is possible for everybody if you just put in the work. Dr. Wu, thank you very much for your time. And man, I look forward to catching up with you in United in Los Angeles. Yes. Oh, uh, yes. Talk about United. Um, I understand United is just maybe a few weeks after uh, Melbourne. So if you're wondering, oh, can I, should I go to United? Should I go to Melbourne? My, my is why not both? Find a way to make it happen, all right? So you're gonna, you, obviously there are gonna be people who are not gonna be make it United. It's, it's, a, it's a long flight all, all the way to LA, right? So if you can come to Melbourne, that'd be, that, I mean, that would be great, but the idea is, you know, for both, all right? United, you're gonna have all the top leaders there. Uh, you're gonna have many, many fantastic speakers. I, I can't remember what the speakers United. You, you, I know Buffy Chang from Taiwan and, and Sir Irwin, if you don't know, they are my top two leaders. I got one on my left, one on my right. <laughs> Uh, they're, they're, they're the speakers. <laughs> yeah, they're the uh, trainers for um, for um, for they're amongst the trainers for United. So definitely be at United. But you know, at our momentum event, it's gonna be it's different because it's gonna just be us. Um, it's just gonna be a lot more personal, which which you will never get at a big event in United. A lot of leaders when we get together at the smaller events like Momentum. Uh, or the boot camp, there's somehow a bit more time to breathe and get connected. Uh, it's a bit more intimate. So that are the big advantages of both events. So, you know, if you can't get to United, definitely come to Momentum. But really, if you can't get to Momentum, definitely get to United. But really, do both. Find a way, find the money. It's not a lack of resources. They can't go to both. Okay, and this is important. I just learned this from from another uh, speaker. It's not the lack of resources that you can't go to both. It's a lack of resourcefulness. So find it within yourself. Get resourceful. Find the means to get to both events. Okay? I guess that's it for now. Thank you very much, Dr. Wu. See you guys at the next event. Make it happen.